I was so pleased with myself, I'd finished writing my book, 30,000 words, great job. And then it occurred to me, hang on a minute, I haven't written a glossary. And I thought, and I thought, and then I realised, hang on a minute, don't you have something that deals with difficult words? Don't you have a tool that I wrote? Oh yeah. And then I realised I could use it to very quickly create a list of difficult words and create my glossary. And so for that purpose, I'm sharing this with anybody who is in the midst of creating a book or a chapter or a longer magazine article and needs a glossary. Now, this first part I'm going to do in real time because I think it's important for you to see how long it takes to get things. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to nip across to my website, which is RDPT. So I go there, you can click on a few places, but generally students tend to find it by nipping down to the open the beta. You open the beta and it will create an entirely new document for you. Now I am not suggesting for one second you make this the main copy. Notice it is taking a few seconds to do this, depending on your internet connection, that's mean may take a while. Also note the new menu is going to appear but again it will take a few seconds depending on how long um, and how good your internet connection is. It can be anything up to a minute, possibly two if you're on a very slow connection but once it's done it's done. So you can now see a reading power tools menu and what I always do is I run the about RDPT script just to get it started. I choose my account. No Google hasn't verified this it's still in beta go to the reading difficulty power tools and these are the missions it requires which is enough to write a spreadsheet and to help you with your documents. So what I then tend to do is get rid of the instructions. You could of course read the instructions and now I'm going to copy and paste an entire 30,000 word book. Um, if it's too slow I generally recommend that you actually use um, chapters that you don't try and copy and paste the whole thing but you can see even the copy and paste function is taking a while which is why the next bit actually quite surprised me that actually one of the big functions I have is the ability to create a spreadsheet and I thought this is going to take a very very long time I was prepared to wait, I was prepared to cheat, I was prepared to speed this up, but I promise you this is happening in real time. It is on a good internet connection, but notice it's already generated the spreadsheet. So we we'll click on our spreadsheet. Now where there's already words in the dictionary, it is going to happily uh, include them, but there's, this is a coding book, so there's a lot of stuff in there that's uh, full of links and all sorts of bits and bobs. But you can see instantly, and you can see it's created a list of about 1,500 words. So that is a very helpful thing to do. There are a couple of other features I want to show, and the first of these is the difficulty guide. What I'm uh, doing is having a quick look at this and just showing you. If you've got a book intended for a younger audience, this could be especially helpful. The other thing it happily includes is the reading time and it includes a sample of the difficult vocabulary. Probably not so useful for a 30,000 word book. I'm actually quite surprised given that mine's a teacher's book that it's actually readable by quite a young age. For some books, I think it could also be handy to have a word cloud of some sort. And what's quite nice is this word cloud is available. And I want to promise you that none of the data gets sent to me. So if you're happy with Google and using Google Docs, then no data gets sent to me. So please don't worry about that at all. But this is a nice way for you to have a word cloud and generate it quickly to see what's involved with your book. If you want more content like this, let me know in the comments. If you want more coding tutorials, let me know. And uh, please do sub to the channel. It's really appreciated.